OK, welcome to this tutorial on solving a trig equation. And the one we're doing here is the tangent of an angle, tan theta for short, equals a negative value, minus root 3. And the method I'm going to use is called the quadrant method. And in an earlier tutorial on the quadrant method, we discussed the trig ratios between certain angles. Now on a diagram like this, this is always 0 degrees, and this angle up here represents 90 degrees, and when we turn around to here, it be 180 degrees, then 270 degrees, back home to 360 degrees. And what we found was that in the first quadrant, from 0 degrees to 90 degrees, sine, cosine, and tangent were all positive. So I'll just mark that in that all three of those trig ratios were positive. Then we found from 90 degrees to 180 degrees in what is called the second quadrant only the sine ratio was positive. And then from 180 degrees to 270 degrees, the third quadrant, the tangent ratio or tan for short was positive. And finally in the fourth quadrant going from 270 degrees to 360 degrees, the cosine ratio, cos for short, was positive. Now we have a trig equation, in this case tangent of an angle equals a negative value, minus root 3. And looking at the quadrant diagram, the only quadrants that tangent is negative is the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So. I'll just rub these out, OK, and what we do is we always draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line here that goes up here, we'll mark that angle in, and then we draw another line down here equally inclined, as I say, to the horizontal line. So get in the habit of marking those two angles in. What you effectively have is a straight line. Now then, what we've got to do, I'll just mark these, I'll just rub these out, sorry, give us a bit more room. Now, what we've got to do is find theta in a given range. And one of the common ranges that you'll be asked is to solve theta going between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay, so we'll say that solve this for theta in this range. That means I've got to mark theta on this diagram. And there's two possible values of theta. What we always do is we start from the naught degrees and if we're looking for this uh, within this range here that means that we have to turn in an anti-clockwise sense. So we start from here and we go to the first blue line turning anti-clockwise through the 90 till we get to there. We mark that in as theta. I always find it's a good idea to put an arrow here because it's showing us the way that we're turning. Then we start again from the zero degrees and we turn now anti-clockwise again until we meet the second blue line. So we come round here through the 90, through the 180, through the 270 degrees until we hit the blue line there. And this is another possible solution. So I mark theta there. Always get in the habit of marking in whatever angle you've got written here. So if this was an X, make sure you write an X here. OK, so we've got to find these values of theta. And the way we can do that is just take the inverse tangent of minus root 3. So therefore, what we have from the calculator, that theta equals the inverse tan for short, of negative root 3. Okay. Now this is a value that you should know. But if you don't know it, okay, and you use your calculator, what will come out on the screen is the answer negative 60. Negative 60 degrees, that is. So I'll write that in here. And this might seem a bit odd. Okay. Because what does negative 60 degrees mean? It certainly isn't this angle theta here because this is a turn of uh, more than 90 degrees. 
but less than 180. And it certainly can't be this one round here because this is a turn that's gone beyond 270 degrees. But a turn of minus 60 degrees is turning in the clockwise direction. Starting from 0 degrees, turning in a clockwise direction represents negative angles. So turning down to here was minus 90 degrees. This is minus 180, this is minus 270, and back home for minus 360. So a turn of minus 60 degrees is turning from here into here. So that's saying that this angle, this blue angle in here, must be 60 degrees in size. Now because I've marked this angle as being the same as this one over here, it must mean that this one over here is also 60 degrees. So I'll mark that in there. And that's going to help us find the red theta and the green theta. So starting with the red theta, we know that to turn all the way around here is 180 degrees. So we're turning just less than 180 by 60 degrees. So to get that, it's 180 take 60, which is obviously 120 degrees. So that's the red theta, 120 degrees. And if we want the green one, that's going to be 360 degrees, because we're not turning the full way round, less 60 degrees. So in other words, 300 degrees. So the only two angles that I need that are in this range are theta equaling the 120 degrees and the 300 degrees. And so that's the answer to this problem solving for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. But quite often you'll find you get another common range and that will be for theta, solve this equation for theta between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. Now if that were the case, what we do is we repeat the whole system again, draw the quadrant diagram, we find out where tangent of an angle is negative, which we've already seen is in the second and fourth quadrants. So we'd mark our line in, equally inclined to the horizontal line. So we mark those two in. Remember that this angle over here is 0 degrees. Now we need to put our thetas in. So the first theta that is less than 180 degrees is to start from here. We always start from here. Whatever we're doing, always start from here. Start from here, turn round, and we pass 90 degrees and we turn to that blue line. And we know that this is an angle less than 180 degrees. But if we carry on right the way round to the next one, we've seen already that that goes beyond the 180 degrees. It goes beyond 270. It's way out of range. But if we turn in the other direction, the clockwise direction, this angle in here is, represents a turn of a negative angle, which is less than 180 degrees. Minus 180 degrees is to turn all the way round through here. That's minus 90. That's minus 180. So I'm allowed to turn in this direction. And so I find that this angle is less than negative 180. So I want this one. Well, we saw earlier that when we inverse tan to get theta, when we inverse tan negative root 3, let's just mark that in, the calculator shows us that we get theta equals minus 60 degrees. And as discussed above here, minus 60 degrees represents now this green theta. So that's fine. And all we want is the red theta. Let me just, by the way, put this in as 60 degrees. And so that meant that that angle was 60 degrees. And so we wanted this red theta. And as we saw earlier, that is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. In other words, 120 degrees. And there you have it.